welcome to another edition of SCL News. I'm your host, SCL Matt, and today is July 6th. First of all, I'd like to clear up a few things. I do not work for Activision. I, my site, SkylandersCharacterList.com, is simply a fan site. There's nothing official about it. However, I do everything I can to make sure all the information on the site is complete and accurate. Over the years, I've been doing this for about two and a half years now, and I've built up my own network of reliable uh, sources. Um, and for various number of reasons, I, I, I cannot reveal my sources, but just know that they have been vetted and I trust them completely. Um, with that being said, let's move on to the news. Last week, a few of you had questions uh, about the Skylanders Day ad, which featured uh, not only one of the yawn traps that have yet to be released, but also the Tech Tiki trap, which so far has only been spotted in the 8-pack. Um, to answer a few questions, obviously, these traps have not been released yet. Um, Skylanders Day has come and gone, and they are still not here in the U.S. We still do not have any update on the release for the Yawn Traps. Um, and honestly, I do not expect to see the Tech Tiki Trap come out in a single pack ever. So far, all of the the w one type of trap, like all the Yawn Traps, are always released together. Um, now, the only other tiki trap was in the starter pack. It was a water tiki trap. Um, so th there's nothing else for the tech tiki trap to come out with. And I think that's part of the reason that it was exclusive to the eight pack. I do not expect to see this come out in a single pack at any time. Um, in, re in regard to uh, pictures in the, the GameStop ad... I think you just have to realize that the people making these ads generally don't have any idea about what's released and what's not. They just have a whole boatload of images that they have available to use and they put something that looks good in the ad. I can't tell you how many times I've seen uh, Toys R Us will use a picture of Dark Light Crypt when they put all adventure packs on sale, they'll put Dark Light Crypt in the ad. And everybody expects to find it in stores like, oh, this is my chance. And every time, every time, they're disappointed. Um, you, you, you just can't trust the pictures that they put in ads for Skylanders. Um, like I said, the, the people creating these ads just typically don't know what the product is. And they're just doing their job getting pictures out there. Um, so that's that. Uh, past that, this week on Facebook, I, or no, Twitter, it was the Skylanders uh, Twitter account, uh, gave us pictures of some of the, the toys, including Jetstream. This is... Uh, going to be Jetvac's signature vehicle. We've seen in-game shots of this vehicle before, but this is the first time we're getting a look at the toy. And then they also, a couple days later, gave us a look at the Hurricane Jetvac figure. This is the first time we've seen him. Once again, we've seen the character in-game, but this is the first time we've seen the figure. Speaking of figures... Uh, a few of you had a question about who is High Volt. We ha we haven't really seen too much of him, but we we know he exists. Um, this actually came from E3 when there were a couple of celebrities there, including um, Josh Duhamel, who, when asked why he was there and why he was playing Superchargers, why he was so excited about it, um, he let us know that. He is actually voicing a character named Highvolt. And 
lo and behold, he actually had a a uh, whether it be a prototype or actual workable figure. Uh, I'm not sure, but he he had a high volt figure. And previously, we had seen a couple of pictures of Josh holding this figure, um, but the camera seemed to be very focused on on Josh's face as opposed to the figure he was holding. And so we didn't really have much to go off of. However, thanks to an SEL reader that goes by the name of Dottie, um, she shared another picture she found with me. And this picture actually focuses more on the, the figure that Josh is holding. Um, so you can see here, if we zoom in a little bit, that we can actually get a pretty good shot of what this figure is going to look like, assuming they don't change too much. But it looks like he's mostly blue. He's going to have a shield and some kind of staff with a crystal on top. Not entirely sure what that's going to do, but this seems to be the best picture we've had of High Volt. Um, not sure when we'll be getting a better shot, but thanks, Daddy. Um, looking forward, when will we get more information on Skylander Superchargers? Um, information has slowly been leaking out. As I said, the, the social media streams, the official social media streams for Skylanders have been sharing little tidbits here and there. Um, mostly pictures of vehicles we have already heard about or characters we already know about. Um, but they did give us Jetstream and Hurricane Jetvac this week. Um, the next big announcement I would expect to be probably at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, last year, if you remember, they introduced the Skylanders comic book. And so they made an appearance at Comic-Con. And they did actually give us some more information about the game then. Speaking of which, it looks like we might get some of that same information again this year. Because just today, on the Italian Facebook site, or Skylanders Facebook page, um, they released this picture that w with a caption that reads, let me pull this up quick. The caption seems, I, I don't speak Italian, but the caption seems to read, Beware, Portal Masters, something really dark is coming. And so, uh, if, if last year is any indication, Comic-Con, the, the big news at Comic-Con last year was the Dark Edition starter pack. That, that was their big announcement at Comic-Con. Seeing as Comic-Con is coming up this week... And they're teasing this image with that with that tagline, that caption. It seems like we may have another Dark Edition coming. Um, if we take a closer look at this image, it looks like there are two vehicles there. The vehicle on the right, I am almost 100% certain, has to be Hot Streak. Unless this is a vehicle we haven't seen before, but it would make sense not only is Hot Streak in the starter pack, but you can see those blue wheels glowing, and uh, it, it just has to be Hot Streak. Um, the left one ha has a little more contention. Um, personally, I think it's going to be Sea Shadow from the placement of that light in the front there. There's not too many vehicles that just have this single and kind of yellow light. Um, that we've seen so far. Once again, it could be a new vehicle that we haven't seen, but most likely it's something they've they've announced already, um, which would include Sea Shadow. And the uh, others have s stated that they think it's the Barrel Blaster. A um, couple reasons I think that's unlikely. One, it's one of the Nintendo exclusives, so they wouldn't be able to release it for every every starter pack or every console. Um, and two, the, is the position of the light. Um, if you if you look back at the the barrel blaster picture, uh, 
there is that one central light and it looks kind of yellow but it, it seems to be riding up higher than the one that that's covered in this picture and the sea shadow is the only one i can see that has the light that low to the ground the um, some people's argument against it being sea shadow is that it doesn't look wide enough and i i kind of agree with that but i don't have a better answer so right now my best guess is sea shadow unless it's something we haven't seen yet i'm going with sea shadow um yeah so it's actually actually been an, a pretty good week for skylanders news um we got a, a look at jetstream jetvac uh got a better better shot of high volt even though he hasn't officially been revealed and then now we have san diego comic-con to look forward to this week um i will definitely be paying attention as as the comic-con opens up i will not be able to attend personally but i i will definitely be uh keeping an eye out for whatever news comes out of there with that being said i think that's all the news for this week we'll see you next time